Welcome to the leading podcast for long-term weight management. Subscribe to the podcast so that you don't miss an episode. You can connect with Jenny on all social media channels. You can also sign up to the newsletter to receive frequent content and tips for weight loss success. Hey guys, welcome to the Power Over Food podcast. I am your host, Jenny McDonald, the Food Freedom Fairy, and I am here to help empower you to heal your relationship with food, but most importantly, with yourself. And if you've been following me for a while, you will know that I talk about food freedom and I also talk about weight loss because The majority of my clients want both. They want to release weight with ease, but they want to have a long-term, healthy, happy relationship with food, not be counting calories and dieting for the rest of their life to keep that weight stable. So that is me. Now, before we dive in, I've got a huge favor to ask. Over the summer from last year until Christmas time, I stopped recording the podcast and I did that to focus on my book, the book the diet industry doesn't want you to read. If you have not read it yet, where have you been? Go check out a copy or go back a couple of episodes and listen to the opening chapters so you can get a feel for the book. The audio version is coming soon. So I decided that I needed to really get stuck in with the book. It was becoming a bit of a labor of love. I couldn't get it finished. So I ditched the distractions and one of those distractions was my podcast, one was my Facebook group and now I'm having to rebuild those things because the focus was not on those, it was on the book. So now the book's out, I can start to focus on those things. So my favour to ask is, can you share this podcast? Can you share it on your social media channels? Can you write me a review? Because what's happened is, The amount of listeners that I had built up to last year has dropped. It has halved. So I need to get my numbers back up so that more people are reached with this amazing podcast with everything that I have to share with you. So please, can you help me do that? I appreciate that we don't always want to share socially, but there are so many women out there that struggle with exactly what I talk about week after week. So it'd be really, really wonderful to reach more of those women. And I'll update you in a couple of weeks. I'll let you know how the listening rates are going. So if you can all make an effort to do that, I would be so appreciative. Anyway, let's dive in. Today, I wanted to talk to you about something that I feel really, really passionate about. And that is why you can't hate yourself into a smaller body. And this is like, so, so key, but it's very rarely talked about. Let's just start off with thinking about how we, how we love and respect ourselves or how we don't love and respect ourselves. How do you currently talk about your body when you get dressed in the morning? Do you put on your clothes and do you have a little moan to yourself? Do you berate yourself that something feels tight? Do you change your top three or four times because you feel like your bum can be seen or it's not covering your belly enough or your arms look fat? Is that the way you are currently talking to yourself? Because when we hate our bodies and when we don't show our bodies any love, any respect, we are usually kind of bringing ourselves into a state of stress. So self-hatred, Negative beliefs about our body trigger a stress response and that can often sabotage our relationship with food and our weight loss efforts. So stress hormones such as cortisol can promote fat storage in our bodies, particularly around our middle, and that makes it harder for us to release weight. And self-hatred often leads to emotional eating and unhealthy coping mechanisms. We tend to, you know, we get frustrated with how we look, with our relationship with our body, and then we go and eat to console ourselves. And when we are in this place of stress, our digestive system is not activated. So we have our central nervous system and we have our parasympathetic and our sympathetic branches. Now, our parasympathetic is the rest and digest state, the feel and heal 
And this is where our digestion is active, it's switched on, and our metabolism is fired up. When we are in the state of fight and flight, which is our sympathetic, this is when our digestion is basically switched off. Okay. So this is when we are in a state of survival. It is when our body is saying, I don't need to digest food right now. What I need to do is think about how I'm going to survive. Now, this mechanism is pretty amazing, really, because it keeps us, it puts us in a mode where we can work out how we're going to survive. And this was really relevant years and years ago, because if you walked outside your cave and there was a lion there and you had to run, you had to hide, then, you know, we, our body didn't need to be in digestive mode. It needed to be in a place of, right, I'm going to get the blood pump into my feet so that I can run really fast and to my brain so I can think clearly and I can be alert. So it switched your digestion off. Now, the thing is, we can't have one off a little bit and one on a little bit. It's either on or it's off. So if you are constantly in a state of stress, whether that is stress about your business or stress about the way you look, your appearance, your body, your digestion is not going to be switched on. So this is why it's really, really important to think about your self-talk. Think about your respect for your body and how you treat yourself and how you talk about yourself on a day-to-day basis. And whether that is internally talking to yourself or whether that is how you talk about yourself in front of other people. Do you put yourself down? Do you berate yourself? Do you say things like, I'm a lost cause. There's no help in me. I'm always going to struggle. I'm going to be in this vile body for the rest of my life. If that is how you think, then that is creating that stress response in your body. And this is why this podcast is about you can't hate yourself into a smaller body. We need to be in a state of being relaxed about where we are with our body. So what I encourage you to do is focus on what your body can do and focus on being grateful and respecting your body as it is now. So just for example, let's think about my legs. I have lipedema in my legs, in my bum. My bum is a lot bigger than the average person of my size. And yes, that does bother me. Yes, I am conscious about that. However, I am super grateful for my legs. My legs work. My legs get me to school every day to pick up my little girl. My legs will take me on long walks in the woods. My legs will allow me to take my mum and walk around London with her. And actually, when I look at my mum, and my mum was born with one hip bigger than the other, and with scoliosis. And you can see that as she's got older, she walks differently and there is an imbalance for her. So I'm super, super grateful that I wasn't also born with that condition. And I think sometimes we are so focused on being repelled or repulsed by how we look at ourselves in the mirror when we're in our underwear. We internalize that. And that's not healthy. We need to be looking and thinking, I'm really grateful these legs work. I'm really grateful that I have arms to carry my grandchildren. So I really want you to start talking to yourself, your body, with that respect. And I want you to think about how to treat your body with respect. So when we develop this high self-worth for our body and for ourselves, we are more likely to feed our body nourishing foods. And you've heard me talk about this before, about focusing on how can I nourish my body as opposed to how can I lose weight. This means we just focus on the nourishment. We let go of the restriction. We let go of the counting and the obsession. And we just think each day, how can I look after my body? What does it need to be full of energy, full of life? Another way is that you can show your body love and respect is simply by using a nice moisturizer, rubbing that in your legs or your arms or all over your body and just thinking about how grateful you are to have those arms and legs. And you can, of course, stand in front of the mirror with your underwear on and tell yourself you're amazing and you're sexy and you're beautiful. But I appreciate for many, that will be quite difficult. That's still a challenge for me. 
that is something that we maybe are working towards. And that's okay. This is about meeting yourself where you're at and about taking small steps that you are comfortable with that can enhance your relationship with yourself and your body. So I just want to remind you that you are worthy of love and respect exactly as you are. And if you never lose a pound, if you gain weight, you are still worthy of love and respect. Our value isn't about how much we weigh, despite what the media messages over all of the years have told us, despite what many of society think because they have listened to those media messages. And despite what you may have told yourself for many years, you are worthy of love and respect exactly as you are. So I would love to hear from you. I would love to know what you are going to do over the coming weeks to treat your body with love and respect. And I just love to round up with just sharing some feedback from my academy. My academy launched last week. And I know some of you listening might still be sitting on the fence and thinking about whether it is for you. I do still have some founding member places left, which means you get your monthly membership for a huge discount. But some of the ladies, well, all of the ladies in the program, they are bowled over with the amount of content that is helping them change their relationship with food. So they are short video lessons. And I've received messages such as, this is absolute gold. I now know I never have to diet again. And I've already lost weight just within the first week without dieting. And also a lady that has already completed other programs similar to mine, but she has never been taught what I am teaching. And I always thought there's so many people out there doing what I do, but clearly there isn't. This What I'm teaching is absolute gold. It's a simple formula to heal your relationship with food, to balance your energy levels, to release weight without dieting, to understand your stress hormones, to work on your emotional eating, your relationship with yourself, and all just packaged up beautifully in short, sharp lessons with handouts, plus a weekly call with me. Yeah, you get to access me every single week. Now, I will be looking at bringing a version of this out that you can just purchase and and watch in your own time without being in the membership. But I also know that for many, that isn't going to cut it because for many, we need that long-term accountability to work on our relationship with food. So if you haven't checked out the Academy details and it sounds like something that might be of interest, I will pop the links below. And if you've got any questions, feel free to message me. So don't forget to share. Please spread the love. Let's help women across the world change their relationship with food. And I look forward to seeing you soon in the next episode. Take care.